Hello Cornerstone family and friends. Just wanted to give you an update on some thoughts we have as far as going forward. Uh, according to the direction we're receiving from President Trump and the Coronavirus Task Force, uh, we're looking at not being able to meet together as normal till at least May it seems, unless something changes. At this point, I believe following the directives uh, that have been given shows our church and our community uh, our love for them. Since this is really beginning to stretch out, I want to offer a way that we can gather together as a local body without going against the wishes of our government as well as considering the well-being of our people. Beginning on Easter, I want to begin meeting in small groups, 10 people or under, this would include if they bring children, uh, at various locations at various times at Cornerstone and possibly one or two other locations in homes. I don't know how many people are going to feel comfortable with this or interested in this, but what I'm asking you to do, if you would like to participate, please give me a call or a text. My number is 229-1078. That's 229-1078. And I'll place you in a group. A little more information uh, about these groups, uh, they will meet for 45 minutes to an hour once a week on Sunday somewhere between uh, 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. We still have to work out of course uh, some scheduling once I see what the interest may be. We may have uh, one group, we may have three or four groups. I really don't know what to expect. Uh, but I do need to know how many people in your family will be attending, including children. Uh, for those of you that are uneasy about getting uh, out and gathering in such a, a group as I've mentioned, I fully understand, fully understand, and don't want you to feel the least bit guilty by not participating. I want you to know that we'll still be uh, placing sermons on YouTube, Facebook, as well as uh, distributing DVDs to those of you that aren't that much into social media. And uh, we're going to continue to try to minister as we have been doing, special edition bulletins on Sunday uh, left in front of the Family Life Center in the tub, uh, DVDs there for those of you that can get out to get them, and if you're uh, concerned about getting out uh, to even pick up a DVD we'll be glad to deliver those things to you if there's any special needs going on any special prayer requests that you have on your heart uh, you reach out to us uh, even though we're restricted in certain things we want you to know you're not alone at this time and we're here for you even though that may be in a, a limited capacity you see I've said this before but I brought this yardstick to help illustrate. People right now are all over the place on where they're at as far as concern or not concerned about what's going on. I think of one end as being those people that are um, believing this is a major overreaction and too much is made of it. And then on the other side you have people that are self-isolating, uh, taking this very, very seriously and not getting out in public unless they absolutely have to. And you know, I really and truly respect people on both ends of that spectrum and those that are caught in the middle. I find myself personally sometimes right in the middle kind of on a sliding scale. Sometimes I lean more one direction than the other. But you know, something we need to do during this time is no matter where someone is at with this, we need to show the love of Christ and we need to allow people to have their own opinions about these things. The, the, this is a time to take things very seriously as far as our response as believers. And within this, uh, I want you to know, like for today, I spoke to someone earlier that is very adamant that this is 
not nearly what it's uh, being presented as. And then a little while later, I spoke to someone that uh, has pretty much isolated themselves from the public. And I respect both of those people greatly. They're part of our church body. So continue to pray for one another. Pray for myself as I make these decisions about our church. They are not easy decisions, but God's going to give us clarity and we're looking to handle this whole thing in a way that will be honoring and ultimately glorifying to Him.